hello everyone today we'll be creating a learning app for children a app that when a child click on a particular image it's going to play a sound for example we're going to have an image of an app of apple then when the child taps on it it's going to say a for apple now if you know you've not yet subscribed on this youtube channel please do well to subscribe on this youtube channel uh, like the video and feel free to drop questions on the comment section we'll be creating this app using Kodula. so if you've not created any account with Kodula, please do well to create account with Kodula. as you can see i'm already logged in in my Kodula account and here in this folder in my desktop i have some resources here that i'm going to use you can see the images for uh, apple the image for ball the image for cat the sound for apple the sound for um, ball the sound for cat okay so let me come back straight to my codula and create a new project okay i'm going to um, call my project name um, children children um, learning children learning app that's what i'm going to call the name of my project children learning app so i click on next and i'm going to give my app a name i'm going to give it um children app children app then i'm going to leave everything here default the way it is so i'm going to click on finish then kodula will get everything ready for me now you can see the screen here this what you're seeing here looks like um your phone so i'm going to bring in all the um controls or all the component we are going to use uh to make our app possible okay i'm going to need um the image um, um control which is going to hold the image for the apple the ball and the card so i'm going to drag in the image control over here now as you can see the image control is somewhere here at the um, left edge of my screen now i can set my screen property to make it um, to centralize it so here now we have all the component this place displays all the component any component we drag into this place will have it listed here so so i can click on this screen one here component to set um, my alignment to be centered left uh, centered uh, then alignment to also be vertically to also be what centered now you can see the image has moved from where it was and it is now centered okay the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in a label that is actually going to have um, the spelling of apple to say um, this is um, apple okay so let me um, come to my label one label one which is for apple let me change the text and call it um apple a p p l e apple so that the text here can change to apple then um let me leave the font size the way it is but you can also set the property of the label to increase the font size the font size is 16 uh, is 14 let me make it 16 so it will be a little bit bigger okay i will need another um image control for my ball and i also need um, a label for my ball as well so i drag in the label for my ball uh, okay then i come down to where we have the text property and i'm going to type ball there and i'm going to come to my font property of the label 2 which is for ball and i'm going to type 16 there so uh the next thing i will do is to drag another image for my cat so drag also drag a label for my cat as well okay i'm going to change my label here i'm changing this text property to cat and i'm going to change the size to 16 just like i did for every other um, component now if you check all every component i drag to um, um this screen this activity it's appearing here on the um, component uh, tree 
now of course remember we have some um, um, pictures and sound that we are going to use for um, this particular app so I'm gonna come right here I'll click on it this is my asset manager my asset manager will help me hold all those assets every asset I'm going to use in this particular application okay I'm gonna come right here and I'm going to drag each of them to my asset one by one that is the image of the apple I just dragged it in then come back drag my image for ball okay um, let's wait for that to come okay I didn't think I didn't drag that well okay I drag the image for ball again okay it's uploading it's uploaded already then I come back drag the image for cat okay let's wait for it to upload it's done Then I also I drag the the sound for um, Apple then I also drag in the sound for ball then I will also drag in the sound for cat now mind you that um mind you that kudula does not support every sound um every sound format but i know very well that kudula support mp3 dot mp3 and it also support dot wave okay so i'm going to close my i'm going to close my um asset manager then I'm going to come back to my image one. The image one is going to be our is going to be our apple. So I'm going to click on image one. Then I'm going to set the picture property to apple so that we can have the apple um, picture in it. Now you can see the apple picture is bigger than is even bigger than our screen. So what I will do is to set the height and the width property. So I'm going to set the height property to 100 pixels and I'm going to come down here as well and set my um, width property to also 100 pixels. Okay, now you can see um, my Apple now is going to, is going to have um, a smaller um, shape. It's looking beautiful now. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for my um, ball. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to select the image for ball. I'm also going to make my height to be 100 pixels. I'm also going to make my width to be 100 um, pixels. Okay, 100 pixels. Then I'm going to also come select my image for um, cat. I'm going to um, choose it then set my height and my width property my height to be 100 pixels and also my width property to be 100 pixels okay okay now remember that we are creating um, uh, the ch a children app so it will not be wise if this is showing screen one so I'm going to click on my screen one component and I'm going to come to the, um, the, the um, title property and I'm going to change it to children app. Let it depict what we are doing, the app that we are working on. Okay, if I click out, you see it's going to change to children app. Now, the next thing we are going to do is we're going to bring in our sound component, which we didn't bring in in the first place. We would have done that earlier. Okay, I'm going to come here to where we have media click on it because it is under media we have sound okay so I'm gonna um, drag my sound sound one it's not actually showing here but you can see it on the component tree okay I'm going to drag another sound component for the sound for ball I'm going to drag another sound component for the sound um, for cat okay each of the component I'm going to set their property sound one property i'm going to set it to a.mp3 which is going to play for us um, a for apple okay in sound two i'm going to set the property to uh, b for ball and sound three i'm going to set the property sorry about that i'm going to set the property to c for cat okay now that i'm done with that i can come to test my project and 
I can use my companion to test the project. Now, the good thing, the what, what I want to tell you now is this: if we run this program using um, any mode of testing, whether companion, whether with our, whether with um, um, whatsoever, this um, app is not going to play sound because we have not come to our block to define what we want it what we want um what we um, want that should happen whenever we click on a particular image and mind you we never make our image clickable so we're going to come back to each of the image and click on the clickable property so that when we click on it the sound is going to play okay so i'll come to the block now and you see down here we have everything that we all the component that we we made use of in our uh, project is down here so i'm going to click on the image and when i click on the image i'm going to see um the click um property so i'm oh, sorry the click um method so i'm going to click it drag it to the blog then i'm going to come to sound one click on it what which of the method do i want what what do i want to achieve i want it to play sound so i'm going to drag the play sound method and i'm going to put it right here okay so that when that particular image is clicked a sound will be played okay i'm going to do the same thing for my image two and also for my i'm going to do the same thing for my image two and also for my image three okay also click on sound two then i'm going to drag the play of sound two and i'll drop it here then click on my image three then click on the click property drag it here Then i'm also going to click on my sound click on the play and also bring it here okay now if we come back to our designer and we let's say we um, probably launch our our companion in our phone to test the app okay let me launch my companion from my phone there yes i know you're not going to see my companion but if when you do yours you're going to see it so you're going to hear my sound play okay i'll come here click on um, test connect to companion then it's going to give me a code um, to scan okay let me scan it i'm trying to scan it okay it's going to connect to my phone now let's hold on establishing secret connection 41 percent okay please don't forget to subscribe now i have the app in my phone so if you listen carefully if i click on apple you can hear the sound saying A for Apple. If I tap on ball, you can hear the sound saying B for ball. And if I tap on cat, you see the, um, you hear the sound playing cat. Okay, thank you for watching and feel free to drop your questions on the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. God bless you.